A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all, what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading of the celebration of the baptism of the Lord Jesus is taken from the speech of St. Peter to Cornelius and company in the Acts of the Apostles. We have been reflecting on the baptism of the Lord as really an extension of the birth of Jesus Christ, the meaning of the Incarnation. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we heard the prophecy about a coming servant of the Lord, totally on the side of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with the love, the meekness of God, a figure that is almost divine. Yet, this divine figure is also totally given to human beings. In solidarity with the blind, with the prisoners, and the poor. So we see how being on the side of God, totally on the side of God, does not mean being separated from human beings. In fact, the servant of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, is impelled by mission to be with the poor. In the second reading, Peter describes the marvelous work of God, not only to the Jews, but to the non-Jews, the Gentiles. Thanks to Jesus Christ, we see that God's love has no partiality. Everyone, everyone is embraced in God's love. But who is Jesus? Who is this Jesus that brings a promise of salvation even to the non-Jews. St. Peter describes Jesus of Nazareth this way. He is the Lord of all. The Lord of all. Now you don't use that for just any human lords. Imagine the combination. Jesus of Nazareth, this humble person from a humble village, Nazareth, is the Lord of all. He is declared as God. And according to Peter, when this Jesus of Nazareth started his mission, beginning with the baptism in St. John, in the Jordan, the baptism by John, we already see that Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit and the power of God. So, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled in Jesus. Filled with the Holy Spirit and the power of God. And St. Peter says, the Lord was with him. Again, the divinity of Christ is affirmed. His Lordship, His being truly God, Son of God, filled with the Spirit and the power of God. Yet, this person who is divine in the baptism 
by John in the Jordan also commenced a mission of solidarity with human beings. He went about doing good, healing the sick, liberating people from the sufferings brought about by demonic possessions. Totally God, yet totally in compassion and solidarity with human beings. That's the incarnation. That's the baptism of Jesus.